السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ ڈیئر ویورز ویلکم ٹو آل آف یو ان بیسک پائپنگ اینڈ ویلڈنگ کورس کلاس ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو بی اسٹارٹ لیکچر ففٹین سو ان دس لیکچر آئی ول ٹرائی ٹو ڈسکس وتھ یو سم بیسک انفارمیشن فیچرس آف دا کمپلیٹڈ ویلڈ سو آفٹر کمپلیٹڈ ویلڈ واٹ از دا دیئر دا آل دا تھنگس از دیئر سو آئی ول ٹرائی ٹو ایکسپلین ٹو یو by in this lecture previously i have uploaded in my youtube channel and facebook page lecture 1 to 14 if you miss out my lecture may you can visit my youtube channel and you can watch the all lectures so all the lecture you are watching from youtube channel nur muhammad and facebook page watch and learn so if you still didn't subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel to get the all update lectures and if you uh, like my lecture don't forget to like and share with your friends okay, let's start today lecture so features of the completed world so here you can see one picture so this is the bird world completed bird world so in this uh, picture you can see this is the wild face so this is the parent metal this two is the parent metal this is the wild zone this line is the two so two you can consider here in this side and road side also this is the wild metal this is the heat effect zone this is called the root this is the called the fusion line <coughs> then this is called the excess metal so excess metal from here to here and here to here that both also the excess metal so plain metal after whatever metal is uh, over this is the called the excess metal so i will uh, try to discuss with you all the terms what is the all the things so next picture also you can see this is the fillet weld configuration this is the completed weld so from here also same parent metal fusion line oil jo oil zone to oil phase oil metal or root excess metal so everything is here so one by one i try to explain to you so what is the parent metal so i will show you the parent metal metal to be joined or surfaced by mesh welding brace welding or brazing so uh, actually for welding we need the metal to weld to metal only we can Uh, if we have the two metal then only we can uh, do the welding bridging or uh, soldering so this two metal whatever we have in our hand this two actually call the parent metal so well metal what is the well metal so for two metal welding we are using the filler uh, filler rod or electrode or filler metal actually whatever melt and come uh, uh, melt is there and this is actually oil metal so oil a oil metal melted during the making of oil and retain in the weld so another one is the heat effect zone what is the heat effect zone the part of the parent metal metallurgical affected by the heat of welding or thermal cutting but not melt so heat effect zone actually after the fusion line actually that part is for the for heat metallurgical property something is affected or change but that part not melt so this is the call heat effect zone in this lecture in part i will show you the details of heat effect zone what is the heat effect zone what is the fusion line what is the fusion zone so stay with me in this lecture and watch until finish so another one is the fusion line so boundary between the weld metal and hedge in a fusion line i already show you the picture this is the fusion line so what is the weld zone zone containing in the weld metal and hedge so this is the weld zone so weld phase weld phase is the the surface of a fusion weld exposed on the side from which the weld has been made this is the oil phase i already show in picture so what is the root root is the jewel on the side of the first run farthest from the welder so during welding whatever welder start to weld first run is considered root weld so we can say that is the root 
so two what is the two two is the boundary between of oil phase and the parent metal or between runs this is a very important features of a well since two are point of high stress concentration and often are initia uh, initiation point for different types of crack example fatigue and cool crack the reduce the stress concentration to must blended smoothly into the parent metal surface so from this we can understand two is the very important things for weld so another one is the excess oil metal what is the excess oil metal i already show you parent metal whatever the parent metal this is the actually design throat thickness after parent metal whatever is the excess root side or cap side this is called the excess oil metal so oil metal laying outside the panel joining the tools other non-standard term for this feature are reinforcement and our so excess metal this is the technical term but uh, so we are some people calling this one the reinforcement and overfill also so filler metal so what is the filler metal so metal added during welding bridging welding bridging or surfacing so i already tell you that this is the filler uh, filler metal so okay let's see what is the if heat affected tune so during metal cutting or metal welding the metal absorb the generated heat a zone is formed between the melted metal and the unaffected piece metal called the heat affected zone in this zone the metal is not melted but the heat has lead to change in the metal metal microstructure so actually this in this heat affected zone that part actually not melt the metal but for the heat the metal microstructure is changed so we see what is the heat affected zone so in this picture you can see this is the solid uh, oil metal i will tell you this oil metal this is the solid oil metal so when we start welding here so gradually this part uh, heat is uh, affected so actually this part not melted but uh, heat is affected here so due to heat in this uh, metal microstructure is changed so this is called the heat affected zone you can see from here here to here not male but here heat is affected so this is the heat, uh, heat affected zone so you can see from here this is the solid liquid boundary so solid liquid boundary here so this is the fusion line so what is the fusion zone I, if i explain to here also this is the fusion zone from here to here fully is the fusion zone whatever area is uh, metal fused this is called the fusion zone and this is the fusion line so second one you can see the grain growth zone so here is too much uh, heat affected so you can see the grain structure is changed here <coughs> then the recrystallizing zone this is the action zone then partial transform zone here is the not too much uh, heat affected and not too much microstructure changing but it still change here this is the partial transform zone then this is the tempered zone you can see here and this is the unaffected base metal zone <coughs> so we can say from this uh, fusion line to until how much is the affected the heat and microstructure is changed this part is called the heat affected zone i hope you understand from uh, this uh, uh, explanation if you still have doubt you can ask me in uh, comment section let's see what is the next the fusion zone so we discuss about heat affected zone now we come to the fusion zone what is the fusion zone then you can see that the fusion zone is often confused with other parts of the anatomy of a world so fusion zone actually we are confused so many people so the fusion zone is strictly the portion of metal that uh, have undergone metal uh, melting the metal that has been alternate due to the heat of the welding but not fully melted the heat affected zone is not considered the fusion zone so from this you can see heat affected zone you cannot consider as a, the fusion zone fusion zone only the wall metal plus fusion line up to where the fuse fuse the melted the metal so this all the area called the fusion zone so this is the unaffected base metal so i hope you understand what is the fusion zone so another is the welding pass or we can someone we say the welding sequence so when you weld multi-run welding 
so what is the sequence is there so just i for your uh, uh, i try to show you so this is the one uh, budget uh, uh, configuration so this is the bevel so if you see this is the first run so i already tell you wilder whatever do the first run this is called the root so here have the root gap so this first run is called the root and this is the we call the root face or length so this is the root face this is the root gap so first run we do this is the root so root is the very important uh, things for especially for piping maybe structure we have the chance to weld the back housing and weld back again but for piping we don't have any chance to weld in root side so root must be perfect and the root all time we need to follow the gtw process for piping so second pass we call the uh, hot pass so someone we can call the filling pass also so this is called the hot pass so after second pass we can see third pass fourth fifth this all the filling so up to keeping these two is the keeping actually up to before keeping pass this is the multi run uh, welding maybe here can be by so many run so this is the filling so this part we fill with the filling pass so this is the capping so after that you see the bevel is until here only so we need to weld the uh, uh, weld metal uh, parent metal also so this is the call the overlap so i hope you understand what is the call uh, is here what is the hot hot root root pass and filling pass so i hope you understand in uh, the in this lecture or whatever i try to explain to you if you is still not understand maybe you can ask in comment section i will try to answer your question so thanks to all for watching full lecture see you soon in my in next lecture allah hafiz